Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and I'm coming to you today from um, Sydney actually and um, been having a fun time here but I wanted to, I'm just kind of like escaping um, for a minute to come and talk to you guys because I haven't done a live in a couple of days and I wanted to jump in here and see you guys. So. And before the sun goes down, I've got a little bit of light left, um, but I wanted to deliver this message to you guys today all about um, something that I feel is really important and um, it's why, you know, I battle the challenges the challenges that I do each and every day and, um, and I want you guys to as well, which is ultimately that when you die, if you haven't done something truly meaningful with your life, something that authentically inspires you, you know, that creates meaning, that has impact on other people, you know, then you're literally going to get to the end of your life. You're going to die and it's going to be as if you were never born. Now, I know this sounds really, really morbid, but it's something that really I use to drive me to remind myself every time I get criticism, judgment, um, you know, I talk about my dreams, I talk about my aspirations and, you know, the people closest to me can't see it or whatever happens, you know, um, I actually just have to remind myself of the funerals that I've been to, you know, those ones that I've been to where, you know, somebody special died and it's as if they were never born once they're died, once their funeral's over, it's, it's done, it's dusted. And it's like life just continues. And that person, how they've lived their life hasn't actually made the meaningful difference, the meaningful contribution that would make them have a legacy that would make their life and their existence, their existence even more incredible, you know? So that's pretty much um, what I want to talk to you guys about and I want you to think about you know what is that dream what is that aspiration that you have what is that thing that you're so terrified about even tapping into because you fear um, you know the risk that you have to take the judgment that you're going to have to with withstand you know the criticism the questions the you know the realism coming from other people who say you know what you're crazy you know, why don't you just get a real job? Why don't you just go and settle down? Why don't you just, you know, do what normal people do, right? And at the end of the day, if you listen to that, if you listen to your perspective on what you think you'll cop, if you go out there and you go and pursue what's meaningful to you and you go and chase your inspiration, then you're just selling yourself short and you will be one of those people, you know, who ultimately does get to the end of their life and they do die and it's as if they were never born. You know, you know, you and I both know that you've got way more to give than that. I truly do believe that every single one of us, every single one of us was born with some sort of gift, some sort of dream, you know, that it, it, we're, we're born with that. We want that. We're discovering what that is. And if we do not pursue that, then ultimately, you know, we are the ones to blame for the fact that our life has no meaning and nobody else has you know can be blamed for that you know um you have to be willing to face the challenges the inevitable challenges you know you have to be f willing to face the criticism the judgment for living a life of true meaning and impact and you have to be willing to tap into that at all costs and um if you really do want to get to the end of your life and make you know leave yourself a legacy make sure that people know you know people you know beyond your life are impacted by your message by who you were by the courage that you had by you chasing your inspiration by you following and pursuing your dreams you know and that is what gives life meaning and purpose and impact so anyway i'm just doing this quick quick message for you guys i've run out from dinner um, to come and do that for you guys and i hope that you know it is just getting you thinking i know it sounds a little bit morbid you know to contemplate death but at the end of the day if we don't get to the um you know get to a way of envisioning the end of our life and determining the course of our actions um you know what our what those actions are kind of what results they're going to be generating in our lives we're living our life by default rather than by design 
and that's not going to lead us to the meaningful existence that we all have the potentiality of experiencing and creating and reaching for that new level of your limitless potential. So I definitely want to jump in the comments and um, let, um, and see who's been able to join me. So please say hi. Let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. And um, I'm in his, in Sydney right now. And um, definitely if you've got any questions or comments or words of wisdom that you'd love to share with our community, I'd absolutely love to hear from you so I get to connect with you live. And, um, and definitely... Um, I want you guys to head over to my new website. I've got some freebies over there. Um, the link is up above, vanessajanepatrick.com. Can't wait to connect with you guys on a deeper level. And let me check in with you guys. I've got Gregory and Julie and Lucy and Gail. Awesome to see you guys. And um, Rashid, hello to you. And Ram's here. Hello, Ram. And Katrina, yay. I know I've got a call coming up with you, Katrina. Can't wait. And uh, Gary's here as well. And Jonathan, um, we only have one life. Make the best of it. Absolutely, Jonathan, and that's really what today's message is all about, you know. You know, Tony Robbins uses the rocking chair analogy. You might have heard of this, where every time he is faced with a new decision that he's going to make, he literally puts himself, he envisions himself as that 80 or 90 year old man sitting in his rocking chair, looking back upon his life, had he made this choice that he's faced with right now, and deciding as to whether you know, that was a life worth living or it's something that he regrets, right? So, you know, you might want to use that analogy to envision yourself as that 90 or 100 year old person at this crossroads, you know, and they're contemplating, you know, okay, should I chase my dreams despite the heartache, despite the pain, the criticism, the people in my life that I'm going to have to lose, you know, the stepping into the unknown, the challenge of it, you know, is it going to be worth it? You know, because that's what makes the difference. When something we believe is going to be worth it, we can withstand any challenge. If we don't know that it's worth it, if we don't believe we can achieve it, we're never going to do it. And we're going to settle for the ordinary rather than reaching for the extraordinary. So I love that, Jonathan. Thanks for being here and sharing that. And Emma's here as well. And Oscar's great to see you. And Lucy. My mum and I, my mum had just passed from this world, Vanessa, and this is on my mind currently. My mum lived her life full and has left a legacy for her grand prosperity um, to live up to. My mum was teaching her. Ah, oh, um, actually tearing up a little bit hearing that, Lucy. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, I've met your beautiful mama and, um, Oh, I had no idea. And um, yeah, my heart is absolutely with you and absolutely with your beautiful family. Um, and so beautiful to know that she's left such a beautiful legacy with her family who will absolutely never forget her. So much love and blessings coming your way, Lucy. Thank you for letting me know. And I hope that you're coping and everybody in your beautiful family is too. Much, much, much love to you. And uh, Maddie is here as well. And Lucy, never give up because everyone has a purpose. You've got it. Absolutely. And I know you've got a beautiful purpose, Lucy. You know, all the challenges that you've been through and you've faced and you've had the tenacity to break through and be the beautiful human being that you are. Like, you've got a story to tell and you've got some lives to inspire. And um, I'm very inspired by you. So thanks for being here, Lucy. And Katrina from Melbourne. I love it. Always. And um, dinner, dinner is absolutely delicious. I'm going to run back in. But thanks, Katrina. And uh, Dave from North Carolina. Carolina, I should say, I think. Um, awesome to have you, Dave. That's so, so cool. I love hearing where you guys are from. And Josie's here. And Lucy, my mum literally worked full time until she was 80. She passed with Alzheimer's and suffered past five years with that. Absolutely. And that's when I've met her and... Um, yeah, um, so much love to you and your beautiful family, Lucy. I'm so sorry to hear that. And um, I hope it's all going as best as it can. And so much love to you. And uh, Rashad, good, God, great people um, like you to help people. Oh, thank you. And give people a positive change in their lives. We give um, the positive energy back to society. Absolutely, Rashad. I love that. And thank you. I love meeting like minds. And um, yeah, shoot that positive energy wherever you can. I love it. And Sparky's here as well. Hello to you, my friend. So good to see all of you guys. I really better rush back in. Oh, it's the only light I've got. 
um, cause it's actually dark and I'm like in a car park right now. Um, but I really hope that today's message has served you. And I know it's a little bit of a morbid one, but honestly, when we can contemplate death, we can put life into perspective. Okay. So really think about the life that you're living and leading right now. You know, is it leading, is it going to make some sort of positive impact in the lives of the people around you on whatever scale that is? It doesn't have to be on a global scale. It can be in your family, it can be in your friendships, it can be wherever, but as long as you are living in alignment with what's meaningful to you and you're giving your all to all you do and you're doing it with heart, you're not holding back, you're absolutely going to town despite the challenges and the criticisms and the rejections and all that BS. Because at the end of the day, when you know who you are, when you are in alignment with what really matters to you, when what really creates meaning in your life, it doesn't matter what you cop in the external world. You'll continue to pursue what is meaningful to you. And that is ultimately what is going to help you to reach your highest, the highest level of your limitless potential. It's limitless, I know. So it doesn't even make sense, but you'll keep going and reaching and it never ever ends. And that is the beauty of your existence in your life. To make sure that you give it your all and you get to the end of your life regret-free and totally fulfilled because you've created that meaning in your life. So absolutely love that. And Yola's here as well. And Lucy, you are so welcome. So much love going your way. I'll be thinking of you. And Sam's in the house. Awesome to see you. And Kadek. And uh, thank you, beautiful Lucy. So much love to you. And Con's here as well. That really is my message for you guys today. Um, I really hope that it has served you. And as always, I'm sending you guys all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary, and that you're doing something super empowering and that today's message has definitely served you. Jump on my website, check out the freebies. I can't wait to meet you, um, vanessajanepatrick.com. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And thank you so much for everybody who could join me live. I always love getting to connect with you. And if you're watching the recording or you've joined live and you've found any sort of value in today's message, I would absolutely appreciate if you shared this with your loved ones, anybody you feel that it could be of value and service to. And I'm um, sending you guys all my love from Sydney. And I've got to run in before my dinner goes cold. And um, can't wait to see you guys tomorrow.